hell of a thing. The federal court, a federal court, a district, the circuit to be exact, they just gutted something that was already gutted for voter access. The ruling, private citizens no longer have standing to actually sue based on voter discrimination. There's some nuance to this, I will explain. Put up the judge who provided the summary, okay? Judge David Strauss, federal appeals court decision effectively weakens a key section of the Voting Rights Act for black and brown voters in multiple states. And it could dampen their power in the 2024 presidential election. In a two to one decision on November 21st, the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals restricted part of Section 2 that protects voters of color from racial discrimination, ruling that only the federal government can sue to enforce this section, not private individuals, not civil rights groups. I will explain what that means in a minute. The Eighth Circuit covers Minnesota, Iowa, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Missouri, and Arkansas. So private individuals and groups in these states can no longer bring litigation alleging voter discrimination for the time being. This decision comes at a time when several southern states have been ordered to redraw congressional district lines due to voter discrimination. This is the result of the work of groups like the ACLU and the NAACP, which have filed legal complaints alleging that old district lines purposely and illegally diminished the power and influence of the black and brown vote. In the last year, state lawmakers in Alabama Georgia, South Carolina, and Louisiana have had to redraw their congressional lines to enfranchise minority voters. In 2021, the Arkansas NAACP and others challenged their new state house districts, alleging that the Arkansas map also violated section two and reduced the power of black voters. They demanded that five additional majority black districts should be drawn to fairly represent the state's black population. So section two of the Voter Rights Act was upheld in June by the United States <laughs> Supreme Court. But the recent ruling from the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals will likely reprise another national battle over voting rights when numerous states, uh, numerous state elections are slated to take place across the country. Um, let's put them up. Uh, so US Circuit Judge David Strauss, a Trump appointee, and Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas's former court clerk, wrote the majority opinion on the ruling, stating there is, quote, no private right to action in Section 2, which prohibits discrimination based on race. When those details are missing, it is not our place to fill in the gaps, except, except when. Uh, Text and structure require it, the judge wrote. In 1982, Congress fortified and expanded Section 2 to allow voters to show discriminatory impact rather than solely demonstrating proof of intentional discrimination. So the recent lawsuits challenging state congressional district lines that disproportionately impacted black voters helped fight rampant and systemic discrimination. Uh, before I go to the next point and to the dissent, let me explain this. Typically, when you bring a lawsuit, you bring a lawsuit because you are the affected party. You have standing to file litigation or standing to sue. Why? Because you can show you have been damaged by a particular action or activity of, a, of an entity, a person, a company, whatever it may be. As long as you have standing to sue, it is then thus deemed credible. Now, what has this federal bench done? They have said, oh, well, you know, because the language has 
no specific in it. It cannot be enforced by private individuals. Keep in mind, the judge provided a caveat in his own summary that said, except in these two cases. And he provides his context, which is basically predicated on structure. This is so normative, this is so common that anyone would assume if you are discriminated against, you have the right to sue. Because there's a protective clause that governs the activity. Let's put them up full mass. According to George W. Bush appointed Judge Levinsky Smith, over the last 40 years, at least 182 successful suits under the section have been brought forward, successful suits. Yet only 15 of those suits were actually launched by the Department of Justice. Do you see what's happening here? They're setting the stage, okay? Leaving more than 100 suits to be launched by private plaintiffs. Smith was the only judge on the appellate panel to make a dissenting vote. Quote, rights so foundational to self-government and citizenship should not depend solely on the, on the discretion or availability of the government's agents for protection, Smith wrote in his dissenting opinion. Civil rights groups and advocates weighed in on the decision denouncing it entirely in the knowledge that it vastly dilutes their power to protect voters in states under the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals. Now, you may not have heard about this adverse ruling. You may not have heard about the extreme impact it can have not only in that region, but also in this country. Democrats should have made this front and center a part of their debate against Republicans and conservatives. There's more. The ruling has put the Voting Rights Act in jeopardy once again. And is very cavalierly tossing aside critical protections that voters have very much fought and died for. That's what Sophia Lynn Lakin, the director of ACLU's Voting Rights Project, told the AP. Barry Jefferson, political action chair of the Arkansas State Conference of the NAACP, also told the AP that the ruling is, quote, a devastating blow to the civil rights of every American and the integrity of our nation's electoral system. Put up the chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus. The chairman of the caucus, the Congressional Black Caucus is out of Nevada, Representative Stephen Horsford. He said in a statement, quote, for decades, private individuals and civil rights organizations have brought forward the majority of section two cases under the VRA, Voter Rights Act, including many cases this year that forced Republican led state legislatures in Alabama, Louisiana, and Florida, among others, to redraw congressional maps to give black voters better representation. This decision by the appellate court is ill advised, cannot stand, and should be appealed to the US Supreme Court, which we hope will affirm, reaffirm that citizens have a private right of action to bring forward lawsuits under the section. Wow, literally. A rolling away of protected rights, specifically as it relates to black people in the United States of America. Now, you don't have to be a legal scholar to understand if you are the adverse affected party, if you have been impacted negatively by the action of someone else, and that action has already been deemed to be unlawful, that action is illegal. That action is not permitted and you were harmed. According to this ruling, 
If you were harmed because a person was racist against you, as it relates to voting, you have no standing to sue. Organizations in your state who have been highly successful, more successful than the federal government, they have no standing to sue. Only the federal government who comparatively speaking, have never been successful to the tune of how private citizens have been inside of the court. And so they're stacking the deck to make sure that those who are active and effective can no longer be. This has to be overturned immediately. All right, uh, David, hell of a thing, thoughts. Yeah, Dr. Richie, you bring you raise some really important points. And, and one other one that I would add is just because somebody has the right to sue doesn't mean that you win. I mean, right. even in all these cases where you say, okay, the Voting Rights Act has been violated in my case, I'm bringing a lawsuit. There are cases where a judge that looks at the facts and adjudicates this and doesn't necessarily come down in your favor. But what the court here is doing in this case is not even letting you play the game to begin with. And yes, if the federal government were to bring a lawsuit in every single instance and somebody were to allege, hey, my rights have been violated under the Voting Rights Act, okay, then that's fine. Then you don't need that individual standing. But as you point out, because the, because the federal government doesn't bring uh, even a majority of these cases, it is so crucial for individuals to have that right not to win but to have their arguments heard in front of a court and to cut that off from the beginning is outrageous. Yeah, we're gonna follow this obviously, bring you updates as they come. Everyone, regardless of political affiliation, should be outraged at this. This is a chipping away of American rights.